What is going on guys? We are back with another video working on the two trucks that we are getting ready to sell. Last week we worked on the 1993 first gen 12 valve. It is underneath the pull barn over there. I pulled the 2001 Dodge Ram 3500 second gen underneath the lean to over here because we got some parts in the mail that we're going to install today in this video. As you guys saw, I took the seats out of this thing to clean up the floor and let me tell you what, the floor came out looking absolutely perfect. Um, there is still some spots that I need to get clean. Like you'll see some spots like this where dirt is trapped. I'll go ahead and get more purple power and clean that. But overall, it is looking absolutely amazing. You guys saw what it looked like before. And just with a little bit of cleaning, it cleaned up really dang good. We have to move this second gen over to the lift over here because we are going to be installing a leveling kit. We talked and we want to go with either 33s or 35s. I don't know if 35s are going to fit with a leveling kit because um, on my old second gen, I had a leveling kit on there. I even scrubbed with 33s. Um, these tires right here are 235s, so that means, you know, they're, I think, 29 inches. Uh, so we want to go with either a 33, I'm not sure the size in metric or whatever it is, um, but I know 35s or 34s or like 315s. We'll have to see if 35s will clear without rubbing. They're not gonna have any offset, which that may make it clear, but we don't wanna be cutting anything if we're gonna be selling this truck. But we wanna make this thing lifted up a little bit in the front. So I went ahead and bought a leveling kit. I'll leave a link in the description below to this leveling kit. It was only like 50 bucks. The leveling kits are getting pretty dang cheap nowadays. Um, so this is a two and a half inch leveling kit by KSP, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. There will be an affiliate link on Amazon, so if you guys wanna help support the channel, order off of that, and I'll get a small commission from it, and we'll continue making these types of videos. But the leveling kit is here, and also, with the leveling kit, you usually wanna get new shocks, um, because when you add an extra two and a half, or maybe three inch leveling kit, the shock is gonna be extended more, and if you go over a bump and one side lifts higher than the other side, or for some reason the suspension drops, you could bottom out that shock and blow the seals in it. So you usually wanna get longer shocks when you do a leveling kit. But what we are gonna do is do a shock tower delete. So this tower right here, we're gonna completely delete it. And the twins bought a shock tower delete for the 5500, but they ended up buying the wrong size shocks or something and they haven't used it. So instead of using theirs, I'm gonna go ahead, draw, a template on that quarter inch plate steel that I have, cut it out, clean it up, punch some holes in it, and then powder coat it. And then we will be able to do a shock tower delete for this truck and have a plate that will sit right here and it will take up however many inches that is, four inches worth of play out of the shock. So that way we can run a leveling kit without buying new shocks. But over the weekend, something drained the battery um, on this truck, I'm not sure what it was, but I got a battery charger on this thing. Let's see if this thing will start up. Go ahead and set this thing to 200 amp start. So I took the seats out of this thing, the dogs behind me. So I gotta try to move this thing on a bench, good old bench seat. Come on. Why is this thing not moving? All right, figured it out. The transfer case was put in some, whatever gear that was, or four wheel drive tool, I don't know what it was, because I was putting this in and now it should back up. Yep, that dog go. Man, this thing sucks. My head's against the ceiling. Doesn't like being on this hill. Come on, come on. Camera probably gonna fall. Pushing the clutch in far enough. See if I can get it this time. Yeah, there we go. 
so bad. I gotta stretch it out so far. Probably why I wasn't going in gear. I wasn't pushing the clutch in far enough. We good right there? <sighs> yeah, that's what it was. I wasn't pushing the clutch in far enough. I'll let this run so it charged the battery up, but I gotta figure out what's drawing power. So this door shut. That door shut. And that's what was drawing power. Cleaning the switch and turn the dome light on and turn the turn the light on. But we'll let this run for a little bit and then we will get working on the leveling kit. I forgot to do it before so you guys can see how much it lifts it up. This is completely on the grind. I had to let it back down off of the lift, but that is a before the leveling kit. The first thing we're gonna do is take off these tires and man, do we love hearing this sound. If you guys have never installed a leveling kit like this before, it's fairly simple, easy, straightforward, not much to it. If you can get the truck high enough and the axle low enough, you will not need a coil spring compressor. But if you're doing this in your driveway, you'll probably have to rent one from an auto parts store to make it a little bit easier. Now I know if I didn't clean this frame up just a little bit, Brennan would be on my ass. So I'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash this thing anyway, but I wanted to get most of the dirt off so it'd be easier to use degreaser when I do pressure wash this thing after we get the leveling kit on. So there it is. That is the 2001 leveled on two and a half inches. It looks damn good. Now it's ready for some dang 33s. So forget what I said about doing 35s. There's no way we could do 35s on a 16 by six wheel. The tire would just be too wide to fit on it. So I think what we're gonna do is get some 255, 85, 16s, I believe. And that's pretty much a 33. Um, the width is about 10 and that's kind of like the max that you wanna go with um a 16 by 6 wheel but look at this thing i'm still super surprised how well this paint turned out by just doing a one-step polish and this thing is sitting right with that leveling kit super easy to do not that hard i've done many of these it's just the puck right there we'll go ahead and degrease all that pressure wash it and then probably undercoat it just to get it looking a little bit better you can see that it it's not rusty, but it just, the paint has failed and it's looking gross. So we'll go ahead and do that another day when it's not raining and when it's not cold because we're getting a cold front here and like Friday or Saturday, it's supposed to get down to like 18 degrees, which is insane for the south. <laughs> but the truck is coming along looking dang good. So I won't be able to do the shock tower delete because one, I don't know where Colton and Chase's um, kit is to make a template and two, we have to get new shock tower um, bushings or isolators, whatever they're called, or the shock up there. Um, they're completely blown out and I need to get new ones before we can even put the shock towers on, or should I say shock tower delete on. So I'll be making those in another video because I, I don't have the template to do it right now. And I could have made a template from the shock tower, but I didn't want to take off the shocks from the shock tower because the bushings were bad and I wouldn't be able to throw them back on if I took it off. So that's why I didn't take it off and make those right now. But overall, I like how it looked. It brought it up a good two and a half inches. It's gonna look right with some 33s. These are 30 inches, 30 inches right now. You know, we're gonna have to buy six tires. It's gonna be a pretty penny, but it should look good in the end result and hopefully bring a little bit more cash for, um, this truck when we go ahead and sell it. And also, I fixed the fuel gauge. So pretty much, I took that off, took all the lines off, and the mount that holds the arm for the fuel gauge came off, so I snapped it back in place, put it back on, and now the fuel gauge was reading 
full the whole time because it was just floating on the top and now it shows the correct amount so we're good there but i'm still rocking the bench seat for now until we figure out what we're going to do for seats if we're just going to throw those back in maybe get a new cushion for the um, driver's side maybe put some seat covers on there i don't know let me know in the comments below but thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more videos on this 2001 dodge ram 3500 that first gen 93 12 valve over there my 1990 12 valve over there you guys will see a video here soon um, talking about that because i did some things to that that will make it drive and then also for my 2001 dodge ram 2500 that i'm doing the straight axle swap on. We're making it four-wheel drive. It was two-wheel drive. We gutted all of the two-wheel drive, and I have the axle put up underneath there. I have a package coming that I've been waiting for six weeks. Six weeks, you guys. I've been waiting for a package to come in the mail for my truck, and it is finally arriving tomorrow, so we can get working on this truck again and get this thing driving because I said I wanted to have it done in 30 days, but just the shipping alone was longer than 30 days. So that kind of blew that time frame out of proportion <laughs> with waiting for shipping. But we should be making some more progress on this truck here coming next week because Christmas is the weekend. So I have some things planned with friends and um, stuff like that. So we will get working on this. Possibly you guys will see a video maybe Friday, Saturday on this truck and what I bought for it other than that you guys will see videos next week coming along working on the second gen so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more videos on this dip and diesel channel with all four trucks actually five trucks we are getting that one ready to get going again we just got to put the transmission in put the turbo the manifold on and this truck should be driving here soon we got the injectors in head studded uh rocker arms on fuel lines on we just have to finish that baby up so thank you guys for watching once again stay tuned for more videos subscribe if you guys are new and we will see you in say goodbye sadie say goodbye sadie oh we will see you in the next one dipping diesel